CBD has quickly become one of the most talked about natural remedies in the world. The medical community is finally starting to recognize CBD as a safe and effective alternative treatment for many common illnesses, especially pain related things. That said, finding a CBD oil dosage can be a bit difficult since the FDA hasn't issued any dosing guidelines yet. I'm Dale Hewitt, founder of New Phase Blends, and today we're going to clear up some of the confusion around how much CBD you should take. But first, hit the subscribe button. It helps the channel gain traction and spread out to others who can benefit from the information in the video. For anyone new to CBD, it's important to get the correct CBD dosage. The right dosage largely depends on the user, the drug being administered, the condition being treated, the duration of the treatment, and the method of consumption. To begin, most people should start by using roughly 0.25 milligrams of CBD per pound of body weight, and then you work your way up depending on your needs. We have a great CBD oil dosage calculator on our site. I'm going to go ahead and put that in the description below. You can click on it and it'll take you straight there. It'll make things much easier as far as figuring out your dose. We stuck with a body weight dependent uh, dosage guide until the FDA issues more guidance. The amount of CBD you take will largely depend on your own individual health and conditions as well as the reason you're taking it. However, this amount may vary depending on your condition and the products you're taking. For example, if you're in severe pain, you might require a little higher dose than someone who's trying to boost their mood or treat mild anxiety. CBD oil can be taken in different doses uh, for different goals. The basic goal of CBD is to alleviate pain and inflammation. For this reason, the dosage for pain and inflammation is lower than others. People who are taking CBD oil for sleep disorders typically take their dose when they want to sleep. Those who want to improve their mood and stress levels can take their dosage throughout the day so the CBD builds up in their system. Cannabidiol or CBD dosages uh, can be measured in milligrams, grams, ounces. However, it's important to note that these measurements refer to different types of preparations. Most end products will end up measuring a dose in milligrams. This is by far the most common unit of measurement. Although CBD supplements come in a variety of forms, including edibles, tinctures, vape liquids, you name it, uh, your dose should remain the same. So 25 milligrams is 25 milligrams, whether you take a gummy, a pill, CBD oil drops, or whatever else there is. It's important to take the right dosage of CBD, but it's also important to note that there is a limit to how much you can take. You can technically overdose on CBD, but it would take a lot. I'm talking roughly 15,000 milligrams according to different studies. So like anything else, too much of a good thing can cause unwanted side effects. Consult with your doctor if you feel you're taking too much or you're experiencing unwanted side effects. Once you have a better idea of your needs and expectations, you can start searching for the right CBD product for you. The quality can vary a lot, so it's important to purchase a high quality product if you do your research and find a reputable brand that fits your needs, like New Phase Blends, uh, we'll help you find the very best thing for your specific requirements.